Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Some up and coming videos. This is just a little update of what's coming next. Now, you still have the Speed Fighter 4 coming up and an E10 Mist Fuel coming up with one of my Speed Fight 3s. But today, we've got a nice little bike coming out of my van that I haven't seen on the road for a long time. But for some of you, you can see just to my right, this little pile of dung, I don't want to be disrespectful, do you know, I don't even know what it is, a sim, uh, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's a pile of dung. It's one of the reasons why I do not do other people's mopeds, you know, I do the videos for you guys, but the reason being is this young man here who bought this bike, um, it, he brought it round to me because uh, a friend of the family. So the front forks had gone, the stand isn't right, indicators this wrong, there was so much wrong with it, it was going to cost him £300 to get it all sorted, and I said, look, it's not, I wouldn't do it, you know, it looks like a pile of dung as well, I just wouldn't do it. So he listened to me, went to a local person and got £300 worth of work done to it. And it came back with an MOT and still a pile of dung. And in fact, it came back with no speedo, the right hand indicator not working, and looking a pile of dung. So all of this was all taped up. You can see remnants of it here. Um, and when I took it off, I found out actually, after doing one bolt, it's actually water cooled as well. That was completely empty. In fact, the whole system was empty. Not good. I'm going to drill through here and put bolts through here so it clamps it all up. You don't use, you know, you do use, you know, at least ain't cable type, I suppose. So it's good old duct tape everywhere, putting the front on, rather than the blessed cable ties. It's got to be secure somehow, that's not. The inner, the outer, all loose, not good. There'll be a video on this, just me. All I'm going to do is tie it up for him and get him on the road. Try and find out what had no water in it, if the engine's leaking. He wants to see why the speedo isn't working now, when it was working before. He's had the front off the guy and replaced the bearings. So I know there's two little clips done videos before. He did contact him back. I said, look, go back, you pay 300 quid, go back to him. And the bloke said, oh, it's all crumbled away. So I've got to have a look at it. Otherwise, I said, I'm going to put a clamp on there for you for the front bit. You can use your phone, put the maps on, and engage the speed there. But it is only a 30 mile an hour bike. He said, it does a bit more. We'll see. Anyway, what was this video about? What is coming off of my van? And I said, I haven't seen one for a very, very long time. Um, well, uh, no, this wasn't what you were expecting. I think you can all tell it's a speed fight, but there's something better. Okay, I picked up two last night. This little lad is waiting for this video to come out. Let me back it up. Da, 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 da. One, speed fight, 50cc, air cooled. Um... Yeah, quick look round it before I get what I actually did a video for. These are supposed to be an Evo set of lights, which are illegal here in the UK because they've got no pattern on them for the MOT. They didn't work, so he fitted these Chinese pieces of crap on there, which meant he still couldn't see. However, uh, I don't know what the holes were about. Um, little bits and bobs need doing to it. Now, this young man had watched a few of my videos. He even knew who I was. Electric start stopped. Yes. Electric start stopped, kick start stopped, and it started messing around. He was pre-mixing as well. So after watching a few of my videos, he thought, oh, I can do electric start, but he failed there slightly. He went and bought a second-hand one from Facebook sales. The wires were cut, so he connected the other cut. What? Yeah, it didn't work for him, bless him. So he ended up with a bike that didn't work at all. Anyway, yeah, it didn't go quite to plan for this young man. He has bought a very nice Kawasaki. They've started doing one, two, fives again. Pricey, but he's got a nice Kawasaki 125. Well done, you. This is an upcoming video. We're going to have a good look around it. Why is a hole in the exhaust? And I don't mean like it's fell apart. I mean someone drilled one in there, like they're going to put a Lambda sensor in there. We're going to find out why electric start, the kickstart's not working. The pre mix, when he pulled the side panel off, I noticed straight away that the oil pipe was just dangling down. So we looked at the carburetor, and it turned out the pipe that the oil pipe goes into is snapped off. So <laughs> it's also got an oil CDR on here, so that may actually still be working, <laughs> it's just that they broke the carburetor. Now, for some of you people that have noticed before, I have a speedy here. So it may be a case of taking all this apart, using the good parts off of that one, and making the good one. This is what started me off in the first place, so I ended up with like five, six bikes, which I'm sort of doing now anyway. <laughs> right, park this one up, and let's look what I did this video about. Resuming the position with the ramp, Watch. Move. 
Can any of you see the words DNA? Just want to get out of the way to show you how nice this is. This is a Gilera DNA 50cc. Very rare hen's teeth nowadays on the road, but nice bikes. One Gilera DNA. Oh. Very nice. There we have one very nice little DNA, Gilera 50cc. I say nice, there are obvious bits wrong with it. It has been over. It has these silly bits on it. We are talking oil seals have completely gone and need replacing covers as well. Nice front tyre. Lovely front end to these. Someone's played, these are from a Yamaha, but here's my problem. I've not worked on a one for a while, but I did have quite a few of these in in the day. These are like hen's teeth. The Gilera Runner, Gilera DNAs, really, really nice. High speed little 50 cc's, 50, 55, 60 mile an hour, easy. The 125 on this one was crap. It was a 40, did 56 miles an hour. It was, it was just horrid. If you got more out of it, great, but I've had a few of them and I just, they were horrible, really heavy. Now, they did a pulse rage. <laughs> yeah, the only rage you had was it couldn't keep bloody running. It was more, oh, bloody thing. And it had this funny little um, uh, remote control where you could start the bike from walking, you know, not being on the bike. Really clever, unless you had it parked to the back wheels on the floor, like my son did, and then when you pressed the start, looking really clever, the bike upped, buggered off and fell over. <laughs> it wasn't clever at all. And I couldn't keep the damn thing running. It had this weird petrol thing running around it. I don't understand it. Rage, anger, don't get one. But a Gilera DNA, they were nice. Now, there's something straight away wrong with this bike. This is from a Stalker, an Ice. I don't care, it's not from this bike. The original one came out with a bigger end to it. Um, this is just smothering it, it's restricting it. It's not clever. It's got to go. Um, I'm gonna have to find a sports exhaust or maybe an original one. And again, they're gonna be hard. I'm assuming I might be able to find a sports one a lot, lot easier, fingers crossed. But that's gotta go. Now, the guy who had this, he had one request, I don't scrap it, I don't sell it for spares or repairs. And I will honour that, there's no way I would do it. But however, parts for this are bloody hard. This little uh, back cover here, you're never going to get it, it fell off, um, but it's still okay because they are doubled anyway. But just a little bit annoying, you're never going to find that anywhere. These all round did look like a much, much bigger bike um, from the front anyway, um, compared to some of the bikes. This was brilliant. A bit odd riding it because you ride like a motorbike. So the first couple of feet down the road, you go and to pull this one in to find the clutch and realise that it's a brake. But they were, oh, I, I actually really liked them. It's a shame they haven't um, carried on with this sort of style bike because it looks like a motorbike because of the plastic front end and the engines at the back, which you don't notice. So people really do think you're a bigger bike. This is where your petrol goes, bit of an old one, plastic tank lifts up, under here's your petrol and there's a little gauge for it to hold it up, or a little pole, that's missing and someone's messed around a little bit with it. Um, seat's fine, and I said water cooled, but that's not fun, so we're going to have to sort that one out quite quickly. However, looking around it, it is a nice looking bike. A um, few little issues, we'll sort out, there's a missing cover, you're never going to get that one. Engine itself looks great, colour's been painted up. Um, he also said to me the carburetor. And when he got it, someone had drilled through the jet rather than buying new jets, back to 62 again, uh, which should be standard on here. But all round, it is a nice looking bike. Two bikes in today. What are we going to be doing? This one I'm going to take apart, and any panels and else I want to take from that one over there and get this one running, because it should be okay, except for all the tack and exhaust hole in it. Uh, I don't know, to put a Lamber sensor or whatever he was trying to do there, but a bit odd. Um, bless him, the front headlights are just disgusting, silly. You wouldn't see a fart and a thunderstorm in that one. It's just rubbish. You couldn't see nothing there. So we're going to get that sorted. I've got a few in here now, haven't I? This was just a quick hello. This is what's up and coming. SP4125, video out next. We then have a misfueling on the Speed Fight 3. That came back, I had to drain all that E10 out. Um, I'll do a video a bit more on that. I had a lot of comments on my E10 video. Um, there's lots of problems with what people are saying, but a video is gonna come out, um, probably very soon. 
So, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Load of moped videos coming out. This one I'm going to love, that one I'm not going to love, that one I'm going to enjoy. <laughs> um, ride out one coming as well, cut the big bike maybe coming up. Um, yeah, just keep watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And for the guy that does this all the time, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'm still getting the advert for it. Yeah, I did a premiere. Uh, a couple of four months ago and it means no one can watch it he already thumbed downed it you know how can you do that how can you dislike of it anyway upset people that's what this is all about isn't it upsetting people and naming shaming people uh, I'm not called Mo Pets since 1973 grow up can you uh, just get it right I'm okay though I'm okay because people don't watch right to the end. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe. I'm out of here. I've got work to get on with. So have you.